Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a command that I bet you already know, a command called W block. Right? Most of us are familiar with that command. If you take any beginning AutoCAD class, they're going to be talking to you about the W block command, right? Well, w stands for write, W-R-I-T-E, right? And we use the W block command whenever we have a block that we want to write to the hard drive so we can use it in, in other drawings, right? So that's where the W block command originally came into to play and it's been in AutoCAD forever. So today I'm going to share with you something that AutoCAD gurus know about the W block command. The W block command can dramatically reduce the size of your AutoCAD drawings. So if you have an AutoCAD drawing file that seems to be getting kind of big, gaining a little bit too much weight and it's, you know, slowing you down, you want to use the W block command because the W block command is going to put it on a serious weight loss program. It's going to clean it all up, make it nice and neat and tidy, and it's going to make sure that it's as small as possible. And as we know, the bigger the join files, the slower you go, the smaller the join files, the faster you go. And we are all about speed, aren't we? The need for speed in AutoCAD. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, this it particularly works great if you're in 3D. It doesn't have to be a 3D file, but if it is a 3D file, you're definitely going to see a change as far as the, the size of a drawing file. All right, so let me, let's take a look at this drawing file. So I'm going to come up here to the application menu, and I'm going to go to the drawing utilities, and we're going to take a look at the drawing properties for this particular drawing. So it's 2.18 megabytes, right? So it's a, it's a pretty decent sized drawing. It's not huge, but it's a, it's a decent sized drawing. All right, let's say I think that's a little bit too big. I want to clean it up, make sure it's as small as possible. Let's just cancel out of that. All right, and I'm going to go into the W block command. All right, W block command. Now, very simply, I'm going to say I want to, I want to select the objects because I am going to physically select all of the objects in my drawing. Okay, that's important. So I'm going to leave the base point at 000. That makes sense. And you can leave this at retain if you want so you don't actually affect the join file that you're in. And I'm going to say select objects. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to window this. This is actually a block, but of course there's a lot of data underneath that block. You don't have to explode it first or anything like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a name that I can actually remember. So let's, let's not call it that. Let's call it, well, we're doing a catalyst tip, so let's call it catalyst tip one. <laughs> okay. And there's other things in here you can set as well if you want to, but I'm going to say like that looks pretty good. And that was very painless, right? That was very painless. All right. Now let's go take a look at our new drawing. So I'm going to go into the open command. We're going to go to that AutoCAD directory and let's go down and look for Catalyst Tip 1 drawing. Let's open that guy up. All right. So you ready? Let's go up here to the application menu. Nothing up my sleeve, I promise. I didn't do anything sneaky. Let's go to join properties and take a look at that. Half of the size, just like that. It cleaned it up. All I have is the objects in my drawing. That's all I want. But you know, all the layers that need to come with it are there. If I go in the layer dialog box, I don't know how many layers we have in here. Maybe we don't have hardly any, but all the layers that were part of that drawing file come across. Everything that you need, I promise you, is going to be in there. And that's really, really important, right? So remember, W blocks can dramatically reduce the size of your drawing file. And I'll actually tell you, there's one other thing that they can do for you. If you ever have a drawing that's behaving badly, you know, it just seems that it, uh, it's acting kind of odd and it doesn't seem to be working right and you're just starting to get nervous about it and it's an important drawing. You need the drawing, try W block on it. It will clean it up. Now you always want to keep the original drawing file until you're certain that the new drawing that you have is A-OK, -okay, right? So there's nothing to fear. Nothing is going to go wrong. You're going to W block that quirky drawing out, and then you're going to open it up and check it out, make sure everything's in there that you want, make sure you're happy with it, and then eventually you can rename it to the name that you're after. The original, probably the original drawing name. Delete the big, bad, scary one that's not working right, and, and use the new W blocked one. All right, W block, try it. All right, like I said, us CAD users have the need for speed, and the W block command is going to help you work faster than ever. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks.